Hello everybody and welcome back to Fae Farm. And where we left off in the previous one, we actually managed to finish getting to level 25 um, in the mines, in the saltwater mines. And we are just about to probably go back very soon. But before I do that, I gotta make sure I get all the food that the um, the dragon in there requested. <laughs> I think, I don't even know what that is. Uh, deliver steamed fish to Nappy, right? So we gotta go back to Nappy once we're done here. Uh, watery Wonder, that's the name of the quest that we gotta finish. Uh, we're going to have a lot of food to cook, to be honest. So hopefully I am going to be able to cook everything that I need. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of resources, though. We're going to need to collect a ton of resources. And I think I now also figured out how to get these flowers properly uh, built up. Uh, I actually went back and edited my previous episode. And I read uh, the information about how to make these flowers. Of course, I'm going to need to get myself more flower seeds. Uh, what should happen is that this one, for example, and this one should cross-pollinate. And they should create a flower. I should not have placed one in the middle here in between. Uh, that's why it's not currently working. I, I think what I could do... Hold up. I could just simply... Move this one. Like that. And hopefully now I can get flowers uh, between them, right? Because they're going to cross-pollinate. I love that I can move stuff around. Uh, they definitely got to bring this to Pelia as well, for sure. Definitely going to have to spend uh, more money and more resources into getting my tools upgraded more. Come on. Come here. Uh, let me also make my way to my deposit here because I have my inventory full. I'm not gonna be able to carry anything anymore. In the previous live, uh, in the previous video, not the live stream, I've actually collected tons of stuff from the mines, as you all can see. I mean, look at all the stuff. We got tons of stuff on us. Also gonna have to place those over there. I gotta start making more food because I also went through a lot of food as I was uh, exploring the mines. I got every single one of those, uh, I think if I'm going to I placed the seals on every single one of the, um, the doors, right? In the mines, if I'm not mistaken. Collect that. Let's get the fishes here ready. The muzzles ready. And, uh, for example, the stint fish is what I'm going to need to make, right? So how many can we make? Just one for now, I guess, right? Uh, so we're going to need steamed fish to nappy. Uh, I already delivered one. That's going to be another one that I just started making there. And we're going to need three more. Uh, let me go back to my goals here for a second. And let's try to figure this out. So we need steamed fish, sardines, dice root, sand dollar, and coral. Hmm. I'm guessing just sim simple corals, right? Hopefully, that's what I need. Uh, okay, so we got a herring that we got to do. And another one of these guys. Let's just wait for them to be done. Here we go. And done. Perfect. And now if I go in here. Oh, I cannot make more of these because we need fresh greens. Oh, we need tons of fresh greens, dude. Uh, okay. This one has nothing on it. I love that you can actually shake the trees to get the resources out of them. That's super cool. Okay. And these are the ones that I need, right? Wall spring greens. I wish I could plant these things, to be honest. To be able to grow them back home. Uh, so that it's easier to collect them. Oh, you know what? Hold up a minute. I think I could actually do this one, right? The aquamarine seal. Yeah, they're going to try to make me an aquamarine seal as well. To be able to fast travel back uh, to this area a little bit faster as well. Pretty sure I can make one. Alright, first of all. Let me go out here. It is early in the morning. I'm uh, not going to go to the mines for today. We're going to focus on doing other things for now. I've spent enough time in the mines. And that is... I, I, could I sell this one? Just 10 for the cotton? Hmm. Interesting. I was expecting more for some reason. I don't know why. So if I want to make these, I need fresh greens, right? Where Which they are still preparing. I think I should have enough now to make a few, right? How many? Ooh, we can make five. Uh, so we already have uh, two. I deliver one. I have one on me. How many do we need to deliver? Five, right? So that means I got to make three more. So let's make three more of these. All right, that's going to be done. Next up, we need delivered sardines to Nepi's fountain. Let me see if I can go ahead and catch me some sardines then. I don't think I might be able to get me what I need today. So, uh, oh, hold up. What else do we need? We also needed... Oh, these are ammonites. What about these? Sand dollars. Ah, so that's what I need. Okay, so we need a couple of sand dollars as well. Let me try to collect as many as I can. Hey, buddy. Mama. 
Okay, grab some more ammonite, sand dollars. I don't exactly know how many we need, but uh, we are gonna find out. Sugar canes, because we need to make more sugar. Oh, corals, that's what I needed. Okay, so we need one coral. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so again, if I go to the information here, what do we need? We need 10 of these corals and 10 sand dollars. Dice roots. What is dice roots, though? Hmm. I gotta figure out. I gotta find dice roots. Uh, in that case, let me use the teleporter and go back to my homestead. There we go. Ooh, look at all these fishies. Yep, I want it. I want it. I don't know what it is, but uh, I need tons of them. Either to sell them or whatever. I need tons of resources right now, to be honest. I know that this one is... <sighs> Did it seriously break? Holy smokes, dude. It broke so fast. I feel like that fish was really, really impressive. I was so unlucky to actually lose it, though. So unlucky. That is the first time my uh, fishing rod breaks so fast. It just swam outside so fast that I just didn't get a chance to actually do anything about it. Alright, anyway, we got another river caught. That's fine. Let me see if I can uh, make me those seals. So, the seals that I need are... These ones. Engraved iron seal. Undiscovered item. Oh, these are the ones. There we go. So, we got the aquamarine seal. One. And the topaz seal. One. There we go. And these, uh, these ones are going to be able to actually place inside the uh, other portals. And I'm going to be able to fast travel some more. Let me dice these ones up to get sugar. That's going to give me fishies. And that. Perfect. Collect. Okay, that's going to be enough for now. Of course, it's restarting. I didn't even pay attention to the timer. Luckily, I absolutely love it that we're not really wasting uh, energy or anything by simply waiting for the game to teleport us back home. We got a bunch of XP there. All right, let us see. Uh, first of all, we got so much stuff on us. I'm going to get rid of the ammonites. Actually, I'm going to have to sell them. But these, I know for a fact that I'm going to need them, right? So I'm going to need corals. All these I'm going to actually place over here. The stuff that I should not sell, it's going to be placed at the end here. These are all foods. Okay, perfect. Let's grab all of it. And I do not need to cook anything at the moment. I'm actually going to place everything inside the storage. So I don't hold on to it. I'm also going to place the uh, drinks in the storage. Just because my inventory is pretty limited at the moment. These ones are going to be sold eventually, because I don't need them. Alright, let me water down everything. Hey guys, you guys made it outside, finally. Let me hug you fellas. Hey chicken, get out of my farm, buddy. Come here. And brush. All right, perfect. Let's keep on water. No, I don't want to pet you. I want to water down my farm. These guys keep on getting the way. All right, let me go here. Transfer. Uh, do we have any more seas that I could get? I wonder. Uh, yes, I guess I could plant two of these. Are these the only ones that I have? Sweating them by type is definitely the best way to do it, to be honest. Uh, no, we got two more of these we can get and plant over here. Oh, these are done. Perfect. We're done. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let me plant everything that we have left from my inventory here. 
Dude, can you please be like this forever? By type, please. It's just much easier to explore. Okay, grab it. And I think I need how many? Three plus four. That's gonna be seven. There we go. Add this one in. There we're done. Awesome. Alright, uh oh, hold up, hold up. We gotta water down my flowers as well. Hopefully now that I, Oh, I need water. Uh hopefully now that I move the flowers around a little bit, hopefully we are they are gonna cross pollinate and then we're finally gonna get ourselves what we needed. Uh, meaning new different type of uh, flower breeds between them. All right, let's leave them like that. Okay, in that case, I think I may have some dice roots inside my inventory. Right? How many do we need? Uh, again, if I go to the inventory, twenty, twenty dice roots, and these are the ones, right? Yeah. Okay, move right over here. I'm gonna need a ton of them. So currently, I have only five, which means I gotta get fifteen. 15 dice roots. That's what I'm going to need to get. Okay, let's collect these seals. Perfect. That's what I needed. And now we are going to be able to fast travel to multiple locations now. So for the first one, it is going to be like right behind here. There we go. Perfect. One seal completed. Next, let me get as many things as I can possibly carry. I will definitely start saving money. Uh, I think we needed 2,500, right, in order to get the uh, next backpack. So I'm most definitely gonna start doing that. I mean, the seal should be around here somewhere, right? Not to mention, I gotta collect all these things again because they have respawns. And they are super, super good for making stuff. So, uh, let me first of all go and place the seal, which is probably gonna be up here. Yep, there we go. Finally, this is done. And now I can go to Homestead and get rid of this stuff from my... Actually, I'm not going to go to Homestead. I'm going to go to here to place stuff in the uh, shop. And then I'm probably going to go to the Homestead. I love that we have the fast travel ability, though. This is going to change the way we're going to explore the game. And we're probably going to be able to move a little bit faster around. Alright, all these bugs are going to go here. Including the Ammonite. And I think that is about everything. All right, hold up. Let me get rid of... Uh, actually, I do not need to get rid of them because I actually have to chop them down. Like that. And like that. Okay, perfect. These ones I'm going to place in here. You know what? Let me also transfer some of the food. I do have to get rid of some of the food so I can actually carry more stuff from the forest. So now, let me go to the forest and collect all that stuff in the forest, right? Because those things are actually super good of make to make food with them. So let me collect all these because these resources are going to be super, super good. Look at it. There's so many. Yeah, because I do have an iron shovel. Oh, what? It goes... To the closest one as well. That was so cool. But man. Oh yeah, using special abilities is definitely the thing in this game. You gotta do it as much as possible. I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and give myself more seeds because uh, as y'all can see, we are growing a lot of stuff. And I don't think I'm getting any seeds when I'm collecting these things. I, I wish that sometime from time to time, right? Whenever whenever you're actually collecting the harvest, uh, you would also gonna like pull some seeds out. That would be great. I gotta figure out how to plant stuff in here. Uh, ooh, wild grass patch. So I could just make a wild grass patch, and hopefully my animals will come over and eat it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's definitely do that. Bug juice. Ah, so using bug juice, silk, and uh, rough cretine to make this. I get it. Hey, there we go. All right, so hopefully my animals now. Should have a place to eat, right? They are, they're going there and eating. Right? I hope. Because I don't want to feed them anymore. I need a turnip. Uh, turnips are the ones 
that I need, yeah. So let me go buy me some turnip seeds. And, ooh, I don't need that many, though. I'm just gonna get, I don't know, 20? 20 turnips should be okay for now, I guess. There we go. So many bugs. All right, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, let me make my way to my farm and plant the turnips, and then, as I was saying, I will go to the beach to try to collect more stuff, including look for the, um, sardines. Oh, yeah, they are fed. Perfect. Okay, so that works. Uh, plant, 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 and plant. I'm gonna need a ton of those turnips. Alright, where do we have sardines? Ooh, is that a sardine? I think it is, right? Because I do remember catching one before. I only need three at the moment by the looks of it. Dude! Oh, he didn't see it, seriously? Hey, there we go, there we go. Come here! Stop it! That's why we need three of them, because they are not that easy to find, apparently, and catch. Come here! Stop pulling! Almost there. There we go. So there's one sardine. Okay, okay, so we need three of these. Okay. There's a ton of stuff on the beach here, which is great. I'm gonna collect quite a bit of it, and uh, I'm also gonna sell, of course, what we don't need. Let me see. Any more sardines around? Oh, there's one over here. All right, let's see if I can catch this one. Come on, buddy. Turn around. There we go. I mean, is this even a sardine? I don't think it is. Is it? Kind of looks different. Nope, it is a sardine. Perfect. Okay, we got two. We need one more then. And three sardines. There we go. Alright. With this one done, uh, let me also do a special move here. Look at it, dude. Are you kidding me? Holy smokes. That is way too much. I'm not gonna say no to, though. Because that was awesome. Did I place seals on every single one of them, or did I miss a few? Oh, I did miss a few. Ah... So I'm still going to need the engraved iron seal for this one. So I need three engraved, four engraved iron seals. That's what I need. Okay, let's try to get those going as well then. Three engraved iron seals. I can only make two. I'm going to have to make one of these, and then I'm going to have to make another one, yeah. Thankfully, I have enough uh, rough topaz for a final one then. Thankfully. Let me see if I get the seal. Perfect, we got three of them. But in order to make another, of course, I'm going to need one of these. And I'm going to have to go get me some rough topaz, which we are completely out of. And then I'm going to be able to finish up um, all the seals. All right, and uh, with this, I also got myself a ton of fishes and bugs just to sell them and uh, regain my loot. Because I'm quite struggling right now because I don't have enough money. And I hit it. Dude, come here. This guy is so annoying. Uh, never mind. Okay, uh, in that case, I don't want to fish. I'm going to collect these greeneries. Alright, and uh, let me go ahead and sell everything that I have. In the meantime, I'm also going to look on the beach a little bit because I think I may need a few more resources from the beach. Uh, I'm going to have to go to sleep, of course, and reset because everything is going to spawn back in once we do that. Uh, let me also get me this fish because this is a sardine, right? And since I messed up with the sardines, then I transformed all of them <laughs> into a uh, fillet, fish fillet. I lost them. I got to catch three more again. That was annoying. Dear Stanton, it's nearly Petal Bloom Festival time. The town will be replenished with flowers. I might need a little bit of help, though. Can you come see me, please? Mayor Meredith. Hmm. 
Apparently, we're just about to get ourselves a new quest here. These things are making us so many seeds. I may just have to remove these ones, to be honest. Uh, remove. Yeah, I'm going to definitely remove them. And you guys are going to see why I'm actually removing them. Because I want to place different type of things in there. We got enough beans, to be honest. We definitely, definitely have enough beans. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any flower cross-pollination just yet. All right, chicken. What are you doing, buddy, huh? Go eat. You have tons of food. No! I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. I gotta stop collecting that because if I hit here, it's just gonna collect that. Dang it. I gotta stop doing it. Oh, she's inside. Never mind. Hey, Mayor. Have I ever been here before? I have not. Look at this. We find new stuff. Stanton, welcome to Zoria's most colorful time of the year, the Petal Bloom Festival. I think it really shows off your island in the prettiest way, don't you? Why? Why? Thank you. I can't help but think that sometimes missing, though. Uh, there simply aren't enough flowers. We can't have a half a bloom festival. Would you help me planting some seeds? Would have my gratitude and a fabulous price too. Yellow lilies and blue hyacinth. Hmm. Okay, so she wants me to plant some flowers. I was hoping she would actually give me those um, seeds, but apparently not. Hey, we got more stuff. Alright, I think we are done in the mayor's office. Uh, let me also go on the beach because I still need a few more muzzles. Not muzzles, actually what we need is beach dollars, I think they're called. Unfortunately, none of them spawned in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's going to be a problem. So we need corals and sand dollars. And of course, we need a ton of uh, dice roots. Wait, haven't I already gotten rid of these ones? Get out of here. I uh, love that if you're jumping into these things, they're just pulling you back over. Oh, hold up. I just noticed the blueprint on top of this guy's house. What were the chances? Jump. There we go. A natural rug. All right. Uh, in that case, let us see what we got to do here next. Because if I go to the map, there's another person, August, that we got to chat with. And he might give me a quest. Hey, buddy. Why, hello. You must be Stanton. I'm August. And the only thing I love better than making good food is making great friends. Come chat a while. Here, have a nice cup of tea. You know, with a little preparation, you could make your own tea, whatever you like. It's especially good on cold, rainy days. Would you like to learn more about hot tea? Sure. Perfect. Now, the first step to bring a lovely cup of tea is to have a beverage station. Which one of those? Uh, I already have. You can make all kinds of uh, hot and cold drinks. Then look around for some lee, uh, tea leaves. You know, those bright yellow leaves growing wild. Add your tea leaves to your beverage station and voila! Bring me a cup of tea. Okay, I shall. I feel like uh, hot cup of teas and hot cocoa are going to be the way I'm going to be able to uh, explore cold areas. Well, in that case, as I was saying, let me go over here, build, let me expand my farm, just like that. Uh, I said that I had to go and get me some seeds, and I definitely did not get any seeds. Okay, let me go buy me some seeds. Alright, uh, five yellow... Five red, five white. That should be enough for now. And let me see if I can cross-pollinate them. So, in order to get yellow and red, I'm going to need uh, 
right over here. So that's yellow, red. Next, I'm going to need yellow over here. Uh, let's go with another yellow over here. Let's go with a yellow one on this side. And I guess a white... Dude, get out of here, buddy. And a white one over there. Dude, stop. Get out of here, chicken. I got one of them at crops. Hopefully now they're going to start cross-pollinating. I don't know. I wonder if I got to bring bees, though. Hmm, hold up a minute. I did get myself, right? I did save myself some bees. So let me see if I can do something with them. No. Not getting the option. Um, do I have to make kind of like a beehive or something, I wonder? A delight home, home for lowlands critters. They go back out uh, outside after a while, leaving valuable resources behind. Oh, look at this thing. What? Oh, that is so cool. Use. Hey, you can't place animals in here. I knew it. Uh, in that case, oh, look at that. Oh my god, that looks so lovely. Can I not place the uh, bees in? Oh, I think you're only placing the very special ones. Yeah, because all these are very special. Oh, I get it. So whenever I'm catching very, very special bugs, I gotta place them in there. I understand now. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to get myself some uh, special bees as well to place inside here. Love it. So this is gonna be kind of like my collection of bugs, right? You have no critters in your inventory or storage that can be left in the conservatory. So that is... Oh, they already gave me something. Look at that. Frog sweat and... Uh, Shell bit. Interesting. That is so cool. I had no idea that is a thing. Uh, let me see if I can craft something else then. Maybe I can craft some more stuff. Animal lore. An invisible lore that gathers animals nearby instead of letting them wander the farm. Only one can be constructed per farmstead. Uh, so this one could be placed like about here, for example. To keep the... Uh... Wait, it's an animal lore, right? Animal lure them. Uh, in that case, hold up. Let me reclaim it. And build it here instead. There we go. Okay, that's going to keep my animals around. Uh, what else? A garden bench. Okay. I guess we need this one for the gardening. I don't know what it does, but... Uh, uh, this makes fertilizer... Interesting. And this one requires uh, to do outdoors construction. Decorating table. Yeah, let's make one of these as well. Why not? Huh. Oh, you can make windows for your house and everything. That looks so lovely. And I'm definitely going to go with these windows, to be honest, because they look awesome. Uh, what about this? Paper. A roll of paper. Oh, you're making paper using fiber, of course. Let's make five of them. Oh, man, I love this. This is awesome. The more you explore the game, the more stuff you build in the game, the better it gets. Love it. Uh, cool. In that case, I think I have everything... Built so far, actually, except for the loom. I still need to make me a loom, but I need stone bricks and clay bricks. Okay, let me go make those. Stone bricks and clay bricks. Oh, let's not forget that we also have... The aquamarine seal. Wait, I don't need this, actually. I gotta collect that. I'm gonna need the topaz seal. That's what I'm gonna need. Uh, but of course, I'm gonna need the engraved iron seal, but I need topaz. Okay, okay, okay. So, as I was saying, I gotta make me... How many? Two more stone and three more clay. Okay. You can also make some glass, I wonder. Let's make ten... Uh, five glass. Alright. Alright. 
can make paintings with it. Seriously, look at that. Oh, no way. You can make wallpapers. Jeez, that is awesome. That is so cool. The thing is, I really, really want to place that window. Wall decor. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at that beautiful window. Are you kidding me, game? Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, you cannot apparently build stuff on the outside of the house. You can only build inside of it. I get it now. I'm going to have to make myself a lot of these chairs. <laughs> to finish up the mission that I have. And then I'm going to probably sell them. How much did I increase my um, health for the house? We're still at level 4. Yeah, we're going to need better furniture for sure. Uh, if I go for the missions... Quests in progress still. Oh, this one expires in five days, so you gotta finish up the mission. You gotta plant 15 flower seeds. <sighs> I gotta plant 10 more. Jesus. I may have to expand my farm a little bit, to be honest. I have the seeds, but I gotta expand the farm so that I don't pick them up. Because I want them to kind of like cross pollinate the thing. That's the thing. Uh, okay, let's do that. Didn't get any more resources. Uh, let me get these inside here. What type of flower is this, I wonder? I don't know. Okay, let's put a red one over here. Red one over here. Yellow one over here. White one over here. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. It is a brand new day, and we have tons of things to do. <laughs> First of all, we gotta water down everything. I'm not seeing my flowers cross-pollinating, though. How long does it take for them to cross-pollinate, I wonder? Guessing quite a couple of days, right? Because from what that character said, the flower shop uh, merchant, I just gotta make sure I don't have anything in between the plants, the flowers, so that they cross pollinate. Apparently, there's gonna be some sort of a uh, queen bee somewhere. I'm gonna have to pay attention for. Prepare, 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 prepare everything except for the sardines. Let's not do that mistake again. I did it once and it was super annoying. Okay, we got what I needed. Uh, so now that I got that, I'm going to be able to build... What was it? This one, the loom. Awesome. Build it over there. Uh, grab it. How do I... There we go. Move. I want to move the Luma out of the way. I don't know where I want to place the room, though. Anyway, let's just place you right over there. Grab the loom and place it, like, about here, I guess. Hey, you can make fabric and rope. Awesome. You're going to be able to sell so much stuff very soon. Perfect. How much still do we have now? So... We have only 11 of these. Uh, I think I needed 20, if I'm not mistaken, right? If I go for the quest line. Man, this is taking so long to figure out. Yeah, we need dice roots 20. Sand dollars and corals. That's what I need more. Sardines, we have them. Um, I think we're good. I think we are all good on stuff here. I'm not going to have everything that I need, unfortunately, to deliver. But uh, it is what it is. Definitely gonna have to go back to the uh, creature in the mines and try out some more. Now, let me go to the beach. Because um, I need to get me more corals and uh, sand dollars. And I absolutely love that we can do this. This ability is amazing. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. It's collecting everything from the beach. It's awesome.
All right, we still, of course, do not have enough. Uh, so let me keep on checking the beach here a little bit. All right, and now that I made my way inside the mine, let me use this one and let me go as deep as possible. Which is gonna be floor 20. From this one, of course, we are gonna have to walk it off. Uh, I'm also gonna try to get me as many resources as I can possibly get. Why not? While we're at it. Hey, come here. I love it. All right, and now that we have the seal, we can finally place them inside. I'm still missing one, but that's fine. For the last room, I'm gonna be able to just simply find the uh, trap door. Dude, stop jumping over me. Come here. My bed is currently full, but uh, I am gonna need some more space for Topaz. So I'm definitely gonna have to pay attention for that. Now, this should be enough Topaz to open up the final door in this area. It's not mandatory to do. I, I don't know if anything is gonna happen. I'm still gonna do it, just because. All right, and ultimately, we made it to the Sawa Mines level 25, which means I'm gonna be able to get rid of some of the resources that I got, because I really do not wanna lose them by mistake. So, let's get rid of all the sardines. Two, three, five. Ooh, I'm, I have one extra, perfect. In that case, let's get rid of all those. 10 of those. Okay, so what I need next is gonna be dice roots. I'm gonna need nine dice roots and four more corals. That is all I'm gonna need to finish this. Oh, man, I don't know what this is, but uh, it is awesome, absolutely awesome, I love it. Okay, we gotta bring a few more elements then. Let me try to do that. And while we're at it, what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna collect all these resources as well, why not? Just because we can. Uh, let me use the special ability to get rid of these ones faster. And I think now I should have enough to get the final thingamajig done. Yeah, engraved iron seal. So the last engraved iron seal is also going to be crafted by tomorrow. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, in that case, uh, these guys did not give me anything. Oh, so you got to place the bugs in here every single time. After that, they disappear. So basically, the desert fly may leave behind the bug juice. No one knows where the juice comes from. So basically, what you're doing when you're finding some of these special um, bugs, you're placing them in here. And once they leave, they're just going to leave something behind. I get it. I get it. Well, there we go. It is a brand new day. Let me collect my food over here. Oh, man, we baked so much. <gasps> I think I'm starting to see cross-pollination. Yes, that is definitely cross-pollinated. Yes, it's finally happening. That took a while. But it's finally working. Okay, now I understand why it works. Uh, these are gonna give me more dice turnips. There we go. Thankfully we're getting a lot of the turnips here. Gonna have to plant more though. So that's gonna be four, five, six. I'm gonna need six more. Okay, hold up. Let me grab uh, these ones are actually going gonna go inside there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So those are gonna have to grow. Uh water down. <laughs> I was about to say water down my flowers, but I have no more loot. I did not want to chop that down. I wanted to actually pet my little chicken here. It's not allowing me to. Oh wait, what? Oh, this is showing the area where the uh, animals are going to be sitting on. I get it. Can I not move it? No. It's fine. Because I want to get this one. I want to tell my little fellas to sit in here then. Because now, if I go on it... There we go. The area that they should be sitting on is also close to these. So that is what I want to see. Alright, let's get these turnips turned into whatever I need. That's going to be 12. How much did I even need? I don't know. I gotta make sure I do not collect the flowers by mistake. Alright, that's gonna work. And also make a little bit more wood. It's gonna be five and five out of these. Hey, we got the seal that we needed. Perfect. And great iron seal is done. 
Uh, I don't want the loom. <gasps> Look at all these seeds, dude. What is this? How do you make these seeds? Oh, I think I know. You get the plant itself and you turn it into seeds. That's how. I uh, get it now. Okay, okay. So now I know how to make my own seeds so that I don't have to bite them. I get it. All right. How many do we need? Hold up. We still needed uh, four dice. Uh, no, not four. Nine, right? Yeah. If I have nine dice, dice roost, I'm going to be good. Which means... I'm only going to hold to nine on me. Nope. Let me go back and get one. All right. So I need only nine of these. And what else did I need it? Uh, coral. Four more corals. That's all I need to get. All right. Let me go look for some more corals then on the beach. Because now I have everything that I needed. This took a while to do. I've already been playing this episode for about uh, an hour and a half. Of course, the episode is going to be shorter than that. But, uh, come here, buddy. Yeah, it's, it was not easy to get all these resources. Dude, just jump. Sometimes I hate it that you get... Ooh, hold up, hold up. I need that frog. I need that frog. Do not run away, buddy. Take it. Seriously. so annoying. Hey, we got it. Awesome. And the great thing about the rainbow frog, as I was saying, only when they're starry like that, you can actually place them inside here. I understand how this works now. Look at that. It already gave me the present. Seriously. That is cool. That is super, super cool. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully gonna have everything that we need. So that's one coral. Two corals, three corals, four corals. Okay, we have all of them. Perfect. The rest of them, of course, I'm just gonna sell. That's why I'm collecting everything that I can here. Just because we can. Alright, we got the four corals that we needed. Next up, we also have the nine dice roots. So I think we're ready. Yep, all I gotta do now is just go back into the mines. I also have the other uh, seal that I had to place in order to finish up all the seals. So let me go straight inside the mines. I'm gonna try to collect some more topaz while we're at it because we are kind of out of topaz, to be honest. Why not? As I'm gonna make my way back to level 25. I mean, look at how much topaz there is around here. Of course, I'm not gonna waste it. Of course, I'm gonna have to get everything. Get out here, buddy. You too. So many of these enemies. Come here. All I gotta do is place the seal here. And it's finally done. We got all the seals. There we go. All of it is completed now. Meaning whenever I'm gonna be uh, in need of resources, I'm just gonna be able to fast travel to the location that I want to. And what I love about it is that it's also telling you how much resources you're gonna get in every single one of these levels. Or what type of resource? If I need copper, I'm just going to look at the map there. It's going to say exactly what I'm going to get for each floor. And ultimately, deliver all the food that we had uh, as the request. Finally. Finally done. Okay, there's four. There's nine. A hey, completed. Quest ready to turn in. Awesome. What is happening? I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I really don't know, but I love this. All right, let's have a chat with him. Hey, good day. Reading the quest. A watery wonder completed. You're back, and I can smell all the ingredients. This is going to be so fun. Even more fun than swirling around in a whirlpool. I'm going to start preparing the feast. Come back tomorrow, and I will have a little picnic. Then we'll deal with those whirlpools. I just can't wait. Hey, clean the whirlpools with Neppy in the morning. Okay, so we got to wait until morning. That was so cool, though. So super cool. Uh, can we actually get a side quest as well? No. We also unlocked a bunch of new things as well. Interesting. All right. Let me go back home then and uh, come back tomorrow morning. Ooh. Hey. What about this person? 
flooding. Seriously, Whirlpool can really dangerous. I'm so glad you took care of them, Santin. Oh, uh, no way. Oh, she got a quest for me? Santin, how are you? Romance quest. I've learned some of the basic ingredients. Could you pick some up for me? Uh, show Moon Moth to Argyle. Oh, okay. That's a pretty easy mission. Chat. Give Frog Sweat. Hey, there we go. I have a feeling we're actually increasing our relationship with this person quite a bit. Argyle. <laughs> the voices they have. It's so funny. Well, uh, isn't that a Moon Moth? Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's a common moth. I don't think it's the one that I need, right? Quest. Uh, show rough critique to our guy. Oh, we got to show rough critique to her. Oh, so that's another quest, actually. So what I'm doing right now, I'm activating all the quests. Romance quest. Uh, show Rainbow Trout to Argyle. Ah, I get it now. Interesting. Ooh, she also has a quest for me. Everybody's going to have quests for me because I'm getting rid of the uh, Whirlpools, right? Quest. How are you doing, Santin? I've run out of some of the base ingredients. Could you pick them up for me? Show the Moon Moth to Cleo. Okay. Everybody has these separate quests, apparently. Hmm. Uh, Rainbow Trout to Cleo. And also... Copper Ingot to Cleo. Huh. I love these quests. There's so many new quests available now because I'm going to be able to increase my relationship with everybody. Ooh, Magic Staff level 2. Nepi welcomed me back to with enthusiasm. We ate, it, we ate together in that magical chasm. With the energy returned, Nepi infused my magical staff with a new spell. We returned to the surface and cast it together. The whirlpools began to reverse. And just like that, we ended the whirlpool curse. The port reopened and visitor returned. With Nepi's help, a new spell was learned. What? You access the Vortex spell. Open the um, spell wheel with LT to select it. LT? Wait, what? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? I'm confused. Hold up. No, this is a... Uh, so how do you... It's set with LT, right? Open the spell book with LT. So I'm not quite sure how to do that. Hold up, let me uh, finish this up. I'm gonna have to plant more flowers right here, I know that, but I'm also gonna have to expand my farm. Okay, oh, this one is also growing here, in between them, perfect. And another one growing in between them here as well. Uh, hold up. I need silt. Wait, I don't have any silt, seriously? Hold up a minute. Uh, let me chop these down. All these, all these, and all these. You gotta put so much work into this game. Every single day, you gotta make sure you take care of uh, your pets, everything. I did not want to chop that down. Never mind. Let me check my map. Okay, so Olyric is right here. Let me go to Olyric real fast. I hope he's gonna be able to uh, kind of like improve my uh, my tool. Because that's gonna be awesome if he will. I don't know what I'm going to need to give him, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to improve it. Uh, redeem story. Here we go. Satin, I saw everything. <laughs> was that a real sprite? Did you learn new spells? Tell me everything. Neppy was making the whirlpools for fun? Hmm. Well, tell me about your new spell. Neppy infused their magic into your magical staff? That's the coolest thing I ever heard. Whoa, I could be wrong, but I think this is the Vortex spell. I never actually used it myself, so I'm not sure exactly what I can do. You could practice using the Vortex spell. My good friend, Drac, might be able to help you, but you can also probably figure it out on your own. Try your new Vortex spell. I bet you could use that uh, to clear some of the wor uh, weird shades. Ah, so we're going to be able to get rid of the shades with the spell. I get it. Show Rainbow Frog to Alleric. 
I don't think I have that for him though. Yeah, I definitely don't have that for him. Okay, well, now we know. Uh, if I go to the map again... Ooh, Argyle. She's the one that I wanted to talk to. And the reason I gotta talk to her is because I gotta give her the butterfly before I sell it or do something by mistake with it. Then I do not. That I do not wanna. I should have said. Uh, let me get rid of the butterfly over here. Not that one. This one. Can also get rid of these. Ten. Eggs. Hmm. Okay. Look at these guys. Wait, is she gonna be inside here? Oh, she is inside here. Uh, chat. Increase our relationship and quest. There we go. Show the rainbow frog to Argyle. Awesome. Uh, give frog sweat. And quest rainbow frog. Wait, another rainbow frog that I gotta give you? Wasn't I supposed to give you something else? Wait, I was supposed to meet with coral, but I'm, I cannot see her anywhere. Oh, Cleo. Cleo actually wants to say. Cleo's right there. Because I think if I'm not mistaken, she's the one that requested. Um... To see that bug, right? The special bug that I have on me. But I was not expecting her to be up here. I'm hitting something shiny again. But the question is where? I cannot see anything shiny around here. Chat. Quest. And Oaklock. Here we go. Oh, so I think these quests are daily. Basically, what I need to do, I gotta give her 10 oak logs today. I understand how this works now. I completely understand now. Which means I should take down this tree. And more of them, I guess. And give them to uh, Leo. So basically, this is kind of like what we're doing in Palea, right? We have those daily quests that you can do. Uh, how do you cast the Vortex spell? How do you cast? Ooh. That's how you do it. And spell. Holy smokes, it worked! That was awesome! The thing is, it's kind of like clearing up the path a little bit. It removed some of the stuff around here. Oh no, you're collecting that stuff actually when you're using the Vortex. Never mind. So I feel like you can actually use the Vortex in order to collect loot. That is pretty neat. And now we made our way all the way up to the mountain. But in order to explore the mountain area, I am going to have to drink one of those drinks that are going to allow me to... Oh god, I'm freezing cold, dude. Yeah, I'm going to have to get myself one of those drinks that's going to allow me to uh, keep warm in the uh, freezing area. So I'm not going to do it today. I'm probably going to save that for uh, a different episode. I did not want to collect that flower. Gosh, dang it, I hate it when I do that by mistake. Uh, I guess we're going to go with that... There we go. Is that it? Oh, I need, uh, I need water. Hold up. Let me check. Let me check. It is. Return to Merit for the reward. Oh, finally, the mission is completed. Yes. And we got to get rid of this stuff. Spell. Oh, my God. This works so well. Finally cleaning it up. Look at that. That is so cool. Of course, it's using mana. That's the thing. I can use this to get some mana back and then get rid of everything. And let's try to do it again as well here. Hey, that is so cool. It works so well. Love it. And I feel like this is going to be an expansion of my farm. Uh, it's going to be kind of like an animal farm I'm going to be able to make, which is going to be super cool. And apparently, we also have a main quest we got to do with her. The Wood Worries. Hey, well, now I appreciate this very much. Awesome. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. And if I go for the quest, uh, a lyric. Okay, hold up. I got to find the lyric. He's going to be right over here. Uh, okay, 
that's fine. Man, we're getting so much stuff. This new shovel is the best. Look at it. Why do they all have these wings, though? They look awesome. Gullen. Magical bean. Hmm. Uh, redeem story quest. There we go. I saw some vortexes. You seem to be really getting the hang of it. Whoa, Stanton. Did you think they would be slinging swells when you loaded up that little boat of yours and set off sail to Azoria? <laughs> oh, don't forget to visit Drag if you're ever having trouble figuring out the spells. He looks intimidating, but he's really sweet. Thanks for all your help, Stanton. Awesome. Last thing, I heard that Eddie is looking for you. I think he's pretty excited about the port being opened again. It's still funny to think that Eddie of a sailor he used to wander around his ranch in a, co in a cowboy hat and fancy boots, but that's his story to tell. Awesome. Oh, man. Love it. And we got ourselves another one, right? Go and see Eddie. Yep. Uh, apparently, the reward for this is going to be 2,000 florins. That's going to be so much. All right, well, you know, guys, I think this is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, I do see that my staff has improved a little bit. Definitely looks a little bit better, to be honest. Uh, I cannot wait to see what other abilities I'm going to be able to unlock because I feel like I'm going to have multiple types of... Uh... Come here, frog. Multiple types of... Dude, come here. <laughs> I'm going to have multiple types of these abilities I'm going to be able to actually activate with the staff as I keep on playing, of course, and unlocking more of them. Uh, apparently, I finally know how to get rid of the bad stuff around, the bad juju around my camp, which is awesome. I can place these ones and these ones to get more resources out of them as well. Everything is just making sense now, to be honest. And I absolutely love it. All right, anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching another episode of Fate Farm. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure you hit on that like button below. Keep on watching my videos as I make content every single day, and, uh, and that is definitely going to keep on increasing the community here. All right, thank you guys for being a part of it, and I will see you all in the next one soon. Bye, everybody.